to thank you for showing an example for all the young ladies and for me. Thank you for Thank you for being there for us and showing us the path. Thank you for being there for Pastor Z and never leaving his side. There's so many things we can thank you for. Those are just a few. everybody. My name is Chance and I'm going to say a few words about Pastor D. Amen. Pastor D, all I got to say is keep the lead. Some of y'all don't know that this man goes through a lot. And to me, just seeing him happy makes me feel better. Little Kennedy, 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 Kennedy. Um, I was supposed to say a prayer, but I want to thank the family, the first family, Bible Base. Um, we appreciate y'all. We look up to y'all. Y'all give us hope and faith and all that good stuff. So I'm not going to cry. I'm going to start right there. Everybody crowd around so we can say a prayer. Amen. The rest of the youth, can you come up as well? <coughs> Buy your hands and close your eyes. Father God, we come to you this morning as humble as we know how, God. Just thanking you, God. We're grateful, God, for these service that you sent to us, Father God. We pray that you uplift them and keep the faith in them, God, because they're not only leading this congregation, God, but they're leading each and every family that's sitting in these pews, even families that could not make it this morning, God, and future families who will be a part of Bible-based church, God. We're grateful for this man that you call Pastor D, well, that we call Pastor D. You call him servant, God. We look up to him, Jesus, and we're thankful for him, God. We pray that you continue to instill strength in him, God. We're thankful for his wife, Jesus, for she is the rock of our church, God, and she only helps, Jesus, and we're so grateful, God. We're thankful for this family, and we love them, Jesus. And we pray that you keep them in great spirits as they continue to lead this with different church that we have, Jesus. In Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 On behalf of the youth department, we want to give you all this card. Amen. And we love you. Making me talk. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I just want to say thank you so much. I am overwhelmed by the love and appreciation that was shown to me and my family this month. I want to say how to say thank you.
Um, I'll save mine after the sermon. How about that? Um, thank you all. We greatly appreciate it. This is, um, as Deacon McCown would always say, a charge to keep I have and a God to glorify. Um, and so the task it is, the challenge it is, but I give God glory for entrusting me with this mantle and his responsibility. Um, so one thing I do every Sunday morning, you guys may not realize it, um, and I'm in my office, I'm usually leaning against the wall, looking out the window in my office, and, and I'm not counting cars, I'm not that guy, but I'm usually praying as the cars come in, the people get out of their cars, praying for those persons. Um, I don't know what you guys go through each day. I don't know when you went through that this morning to even get here, but I just pray for God's will and God's um, plan for your life to be manifested. We witnessed some of our family members move on to other parts of the, of the, of the country. Um, and God is doing great things there. We've seen some who have come here through church hurt and been broken by other things. And God allowed them to heal here. Whatever reason you are here, I am grateful to God that when he spoke to me in 2006, the Bible-based church, and it took me through a waiting season, he saw what I didn't see. Um, and he's entrusted me with something as great as this. And so thank you so much for... For this, the last thing I'll say, this is this, so you guys know, um, I don't ask for a lot of things. I'm a very low maintenance guy. Um, my wife can tell you that. Um, the one thing that I always ask for from people that ask me anything is, is always do right by my wife and my kids. The only time you ever see me show a negative response is if my wife or my kids are taken advantage of. Um, I'm okay with getting attacks. I've been there. I've had my character assassinated, mostly by church folks. I can endure that. I've lived through that. But I can't handle what my wife and my kids who are innocent are, are attacking. So that's just when I'll respond. So I am grateful to each of you for what you have done and showing your love toward my wife and my kids. Um, because when I said yes to God, they did as well. The sacrifice that I make to be the best I can be for the glory of God, they do as well. And it's a key that keeps me humble because I'm Pastor D here. Um, and I've been blessed with some great things out of the political arena. But I'm Derek at home. And so one of my jobs at home is take that trash out. <laughs> so, so although she may say we love Pastor D when I get home, she likes to get all that, take the trash out. Go help out with the homework. Do something. Um, and so I am grateful for a wife that when I got, Ken and I got together, I was already in ministry. And so she knew what she was getting herself into. Um, and she said she never wanted to date or marry a minister. And I said I was never going to date a local girl. Um, and, and so you tell God your plans and you see what happens. And so... Next month, we'll be celebrating 12 years of marriage. Amen. We were college sweethearts, sweethearts at FAMU, and I thank God. When I was on the prowl looking for, you know, my aid, somebody else's aid, God allowed me to see a beautiful, young, quiet girl in a meeting at Tabernacle. And, and I zoned in, and I've been hooked ever since. Amen. Um, and out of, out of the womb, my, my wife, two kids came, and I am grateful um, to her. For her yes as well and, and as they call her sparkle and call her pearls i'm just grateful um that when i wake up in the morning she's there um, and she's never right never moaned never complained about this yes she's just done what she can do she does a lot of things behind the scenes amen. you guys will never know about amen but i want to say thank you amen i don't know who chairs these are you better get them for church over <laughs> 